second snap. Oh, he's open. There he is. Pass one across the middle. Yep. Pass is caught. And there's a big swing by Huey. Blaine, stop that ball from coming over I here. I didn't see it coming back by. Side like Coach Brookshire says. But Bernie with the rebound. The steal. And the steal. Oh, yes, it is. And the ball. The ball. The ball. He's running the last lay, uh, leg. That could be gold. And a gold. And a gold. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> In the third. The shortstop fielded by Herber, who fires it over to first base for out number three. Oh, she got a hold of that one. Maybe gone by. It's gone. There you go. Wow. What a hit. I didn't take her long. No. Juan Galarza. Welcome to another Billy's Live production. Find us on your favorite social sites and apps. Like, subscribe, and get notified when we go live. Good evening, everybody, and welcome into Billy's.Live. Thank you for joining us as you end your Christmas break here with uh, myself, Reed Graff, and Cody Carnett. We're getting ready for some Battle and Billy's district basketball action here as the Fredericksburg Battle and Billy's take on the Davenport Wolves. We'll be right back and get you started here with today's broadcast. I think something went wrong. I think something happened. Are we still on? We're not on. I didn't do it. <laughs> so we weren't on at all. All right, so we had a little bit of technical difficulties, but we're all good. Okay, so uh, sorry for the hiccups, but we're live. We're here. We're ready. Uh, we have a little bit of a shortened crew today. No Paige Finley today, so we're Sergio, our man's rocking. So bear with us as we get things going today. Uh, once again, the Billies are going to be taking on Davenport in district action. It's going to be a big game, looking to get a win over a talented team. So that's what we got coming up here on Billies.Live. Thank you for joining us. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we are going to go ahead and take a quick break here, and then we'll get things fired up, and we'll get you ready for tonight's game. Stay tuned here on Billies.Live. Hello, my name is Greg Nebgen with 4N Cattle Company. I want to talk to you a little bit about J4 Trailer and my experience. So I was looking for a new cattle trailer, stopped by, talked to Josh, customized what I wanted. I own a local business, I want to do my business local. Prices were very competitive. I looked at trailers everywhere. They were $1,000 cheaper, if not more. I was going to buy local anyway. They beat everybody in price. And then they even delivered it. J4 Trailer, that's where I got mine. At the Real Estate Advisory Team, we know the Texas Hill Country, and we know Texas Hill Country Real Estate. With the Real Estate Advisory Team, you'll have a team of experienced local professionals who value honesty and integrity and work tirelessly to help you achieve your real estate goals. Give us a call or stop by today. We would be honored to help turn your Texas Hill Country dream into a reality. Go Billies! Strayron Offers has been going strong since 1928. They specialize in tires and tire repair, wheel balancing, front end alignment, brake repair, tune-ups, oil changes, belts and hoses, complete auto repair. Make sure you check out the Kawasaki Mules and custom-built trailers ready to go to work for you. For quality Chevron products, Strayron Offers, 509 South Adams Street, Fredericksburg. Call 830-997-4382. Check them out online, StrayronOffers.com. 
Arrowhead Bank is celebrating 100 years of serving the Hill Country. Their goal is to greet you by name when you walk in the door and provide you the banking help you need today. You're guaranteed to speak to someone you know when you pick up the phone. Arrowhead Bank wants to thank all the employees of Fredericksburg ISD. Good luck to the Batlin Billies in all activities this school year. Arrowhead Bank, 502 South Adams, 830-990-9300. Check them out online, arrowheadbanktexas.com. Welcome to Creek Street Dental, where we strive to treat our patients with compassion, kindness, and care. We utilize the latest technologies in our commitment to your family, offering cone beam technology, cosmetic dentistry, and sedation dentistry so you can sleep through your appointment. Stop by and meet our newest addition, Dr. Monica Montgomery, from the Fredericksburg High School class of 2014. Creek Street Dental, on the corner of Creek Street and South Adams in Fredericksburg. Thanks for tuning in, Billy Nation. Tonight's coverage is brought to you by The Inside Story, helping you make your house your home. Segner's Jewelers, with locations in Fredericksburg and Bee Cave. Hill Country Propane, for all your outdoor grilling needs. The FISD Education Foundation, let's make FISD better together. Security State Bank and Trust, celebrating 82 years of serving Fredericksburg. Welcome back, folks, to the Batlin Billy Performance Gym as we get set to take on the Comal Davenport Wolves at 17 and 6. Billy's 12 and 9. Billy's 0 and 1 at district play. We get to see the Davenport Wolves who are at the top of 4A Region 4 District 27 district play at 2 and 0. We have ourselves quite the game shaping up for us. We're going to have uh, a few minutes break here while we have the national anthem, and we'll be right back. Stay with us. Top five reasons we love Gaddy's in Fredericksburg. Number five, their student teacher lunch discount. Number four, their all you can eat buffet. Number three, they have a huge variety of fresh veggies at the salad bar. Number two, Gaddy's pasta and pizza is always hot and ready. And best of all, they even do the dishes. Gaddy's Pizza, Highway 16 South, across from the fairgrounds. Since 1974, Hill Country Refrigeration has been bringing something extra to every residential customer, besides a cozy and comfortable home. It's built into every heating or air conditioning service. It's part of every estimate. You'll feel it in our handshakes. We carry it with us in our trucks, and it's forever in our hearts. It's our deep love for this community, and of course, our Batlin Billies. When it comes to managing your financial investments, any idea how much of your money it takes just to cover your investor's fees? My name is Eddie Kramer, Certified Financial Planner Professional from the Batlin Billy Class of 2000. At SSBNT Wealth Management, all our advisors are on salary, so we never receive commissions, loads, or kickbacks from your investments. So guess who keeps more of your money? You do. Your plan, your goals, your purpose. Give us a call today, 990-7750. Let's go. Three seconds on the clock. The shot's up for three. It's good, and the Phillies win. A successful fast break should end with a goal. Are your retirement plans and goals a slam dunk, or does it need some more practice? At Joseph Financial Partners, we'll draw up a play to get you down the court and set you up for the win. We can't help you with your basketball game, but we can get your portfolio in shape for the championships. Call Joseph Financial Partners at 830-997-4763 or online at josephfinancialpartners.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial Member FINRA Civic. One phone call to Bee Creek was all it took, and our speeds crazy fast. Bee Creek Communications, always on high-speed internet. 
Support for the Billies comes from Knopf Healthcare and Votive Hospice, family owned by Fredericksburg natives. Knopf's currently has Fredericksburg's best star rating on Medicare. We'd like to thank the people of Fredericksburg for voting us best of 2023 in the newspaper's Reader's Choice Awards. Knopf's won a total of five categories, including best nursing home, best assisted living, and best physical therapy. Votive is proud to have won best hospice. We'd love to help you when you need us. Call Krisha at 830-928-9956. Knopf Healthcare and Votive Hospice. Small town heart, generations of care. Welcome back, everybody. Battle and Billy's here getting ready to take on the Comal Davenport Wolves. We've had a little bit of some glitches in the broadcast, so we're not going to give you the starting lineups. We'll introduce these young men as they come onto the floor this evening. But suffice it to say, Reed, we have ourselves a battle. It's going to be it's going to be a heck of a game against a really good team. But before we get going, let's make sure we introduce you to tonight's title sponsor, and that is Kovar Family Dentistry. Beautiful smile today easier than ever with Lance Kovar Family Dentistry. So thank you to the Lance Kovar Family Dentistry Company for supporting us and allowing us to do what we do. Also want to give a quick shout out to the uh, Sterling Real Estate uh, Group. They usually sponsor our replays. Now we will not have replays tonight. We're a little bit uh, shortened today due to the stock show that's going on. But we will have a post game show with Coach Tim Kamen and uh, Kerry Burgess of the Fredericksburg Standard, and that is being sponsored by the Sterling Real Estate Group. So thank you to all of our wonderful sponsors. As we get going today, Spees comes away with the steal. We're going to get the court set for you. We've got Emil, Reed Spees, Asher Gaiman, Barrett Green, and Landon Kovar on the court for the Billies. Spees goes for another steal, doesn't get it. Cole Rios puts up the three, misses it, and that's how this game gets going. Trying to set the court for the Wolves as we get going here. We've got Cole Rios on the court, along with Carson Bless. Number 21, Brandon Castilla is on the court, the junior. Alongside number three, Cameron Gaston. And the big man, number 41, Ricky Groff, a freshman. 6'6", six, six, or maybe even, they may have listed at 6'7", big man for a freshman. Uh, that's a lot of man for a freshman. That ball gets away from Barrett Green. Should be an easy bucket for Rios, and it is. Right away, you see what we're going to have to deal with, which is the, the hands of Davenport. Uh, they, they average in the, in the double digits for team steals. They are very uh, athletic with getting into passing lanes. Uh, Groff clogging up the middle lane with his blocking ability, and then uh, they, they're really looking to steal the ball and get it out on transition fast. And so we have got to have good ball security to, tonight if we, uh, we have a hope of keeping this close. It's a blocking foul there on Rios, but the pass gets away from Kovar. That's going to be a turnover. So the Billies, like they tend to do sometimes, um, Cody, they just struggle with the turnover bug right out the gate. Yes. We're it, seeing it here. It, it feels like if we could commit uh, less than 15 turnovers and, and 10 of those being, you know, 10 or less being steals, uh, that we would be in so many games. But we're setting ourselves back by almost giving the other team fast break opportunities. That's two bucket, two points for Castilla. Four nothing start here for Davenport. And we didn't really get to get to it, but why don't we get to it while we have a minute, Cody? Your keys for tonight's game. Yeah, the keys to the game, we already talked about one of them, ball security, got to hold on to it. Uh, crisp passes, take your time, make sure that uh, your players where they need to be, keep your head on a swivel. Second one would be, we've got to be aggressive on offense. They have a big man. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Speaking of aggressiveness, Kovar can't get it to fall. Still battling for the rebound. Puts it back up. Still can't hit it. Still nobody rebounded, and that ends up being Davenport ball. So whether it's Joffrey, Speeds, Green, uh, look to look to to get into the lane and cause some havoc. Be aggressive on offense. Uh, we built some confidence earlier this week and love to see that materialize in this game. And then finally, weather the storm. This team starts hot. Every single game that we've watched in this scouting report is Davenport starts very hot. They're going to score a lot of points in the first and second quarter. Weather that, stay with them, because you'll have a chance toward the end of the game to be able to close it. Well, and if you want to make a playoff run as Gaiman swings it to Spees, but they're going to get the foul called on Gaiman. And I like the idea there. It yep. just didn't work out for him. Yep. If you're going to turn out a game, if you're going to make the playoffs in a district like this one, these are the types of games you have to find a way to win against good teams like Davenport. And so we're going to see tonight, as Jock Joffrey checks in the game for the first time for the Billies, if they can do that tonight. Yep, yep. And speaking of Joffrey, this, this is the type of game 
that to to have him do what Hirschman did earlier this week and have a little bit of a breakout, use his athleticism, athleticism uh, understanding of basketball, to get us 10 to 12 points, that would go a long way. That's a three from Cameron Gaston, his first points of the night. And Davenport, like you said, out to that early start, 7 nothing. Billy's still struggling to get on the board here as Joffrey tries to bring it up the court, working against Bless. Bless is a returning starter. And he's going to come up with the steal, trying to keep the ball alive. To the basket, swings it to Rios for the bucket. And that's going to draw a Billy's timeout. So, real quick, while we have, a, we have a second, let's take a moment for a word from one of our sponsors, the FISD Education Foundation. You make a difference. Give today. FISDkids.org slash donate. Welcome back. Thank you to the FISD Education Foundation for sponsoring us tonight and allowing us to do what we do. It's been a fun season so far. Mm -hmm. and, and I think, you know, as we get into a tough game tonight, I think it's important to recognize that this team has definitely taken a step forward from a year ago. Oh, yes. This is a good team. Um, it feels like we, we're hitting on some cylinders and not all of them. We, we don't have as big of a team as last year. Uh, more guards. And uh, would love to see. Ooh, good move from Speed. Would, uh, would love to see. Would love to see us handle the ball better. Ball security has been the issue as we've noted many times. Nine to two now. Davenport, oh great goodness. pass there to Groff for his first points of the night. This is the first year uh, for head coach Marcus McNeil with Davenport. He's got a couple three A state championships in his pocket. Uh, the man knows how to coach basketball. It's very obvious when you watch this team. They move the ball. They always make the extra pass. You've already seen it a couple times tonight. Everybody shoots well. Uh, this is a team that spaces the floor. Uh, th this is a team that the Billies can play with, but you're going to have to have a complete game. Talking to Kamen before the game, he's really looking for, can we play as a team? And uh, if we can do that, he thinks that we have, a, we have a chance tonight, and certainly so do we. So here's an interesting thing to note. Austin Green, the sophomore, checking in for Joffrey. Green has played most of the year on the JV for the Billies, but he's playing with the varsity tonight. Maybe he'll get a shot. Now, you might hear the name Green, be familiar, because number two, Barrett Green, is his older brother. Mm -hmm. So we've got a pair of brothers on the court right now for the Billies. That's a pretty cool moment. Yep. So 11-2 to two now. Immel gets a piece of it, but Soakup's able to keep it together. That's uh, Ryan so Daniel Soakup. Name might be familiar for you Billies fans. He was the quarterback that led the DeWolves to the Pretty good beatdown they put on the Billy's football team in the bi-district playoffs. So, familiar name there. Number 11, Joshua Bindley also in the game. That's number one, Carson Bless has got it on the right side. Swings it to Rios. Rios swings it to the corner for the three. Can't hit. Battle for the rebound. Spees comes up with it. They're big centers out of the game right now, and we need to take advantage of that. Gaiman's probably the tallest guy on the court. Certainly the most athletic underneath the basket for their team or ours, and we need to take advantage of that quickly if we can. Joseph Danielson is in the game for Groff, number 20. He's a sophomore. Barry Green swings it right to Spees. Spees to Green, and there is something called. Didn't get a signal for what it was, but is a turnover on the Billies nonetheless. I think so it might be five. I think it might be uh, too long in the lane for Gaiman. He's rotating back and forth, trying to get the ball. And the guards were doing their best to get it to him, but defense has been really good for Davenport so far. This team plays team defense. Three minutes to go here in the first quarter. 11-2, Davenport leads. On the right side is Daniel Sokup. Hayden Glode also in the game. Here's Danielson, swings it to Glode. Glode's going to attack the basket. That's a great defensive effort from Austin Green, but Glode comes back up with it. Swinging it around on the right side. It's number 11, Joshua Bendeley. He's a junior. Back to Bless. Bless so far pretty much the quarterback of this team. As that ball gets away from him, but it's going to be a blocking foul. We'll see who's called on. That's going to go against number two for the Billies, Barrett Green. His first foul of the night. The key for us as the Billies on defense tonight is uh, really watch our defensive rotations because Davenport is looking to uh, swing the ball fast to get an open three-point shooter out on the edge. 
and uh, we got to be real careful to not let them get those those real open looks. So that's number 20, Joseph Danielson. Swings it right to Bless on the right side. Now that is Soka attacks the basket, can't hit. Gaiman had the rebound but then lost it. Now we've got a battle for the ball. And a battle for a shoe. Oh, and a battle for a shoe. I think Soka lost his shoe. So that's number four for the Billies came up with that ball. Gaiman. Uh, Austin Green, recent addition to the varsity club this evening, as you've noted, already making his presence known on a number of uh, what we would call hustle plays, just keeping his hands alive. Comes you like from, to see it. Comes from a basketball family, Barrett yep. being a three-year starter, and his older brother, that's going to be a wow. charge called on Gaiman. Could have been a, could have been a three-point play, but instead it's going to be a foul called against Gaiman. He's already got two in the first quarter, and he's going to have to come out. So here comes Caden Hirschman, and, and it, here's a good talking point. Caden Hirschman yeah. came on strong. Very. I mean, the Billies played Ingram earlier this week, had a great game, 56, uh, 25, what was it, 26, 50, I'm trying to remember the score, but they, they came out came make, out big. Make it up, save with confidence. And One by you. 30 <laughs> there you at go. least. <laughs> One big, and a big part of that win yes. was Caden Hirschman. Uh, what what do you have to say about it? Scored that? in bunches. He, he was putting up six to eight points in two or three-minute periods. Uh, and, and it wasn't just the scoring, too. He, he got a couple steals. He got a couple blocks. Uh, he caught a couple nice passes, nice assists. There's a steal for Austin Green. So like, love to see Hirschman do this, especially because now he is by far the biggest man on the court. And uh, needs to make his presence known. He's got that. We've already talked about it over the years so far. But he's got very good footwork, and he needs to use that now. Absolutely. Hirschman knows his way on a court. As Spees goes to the basket, he's got all four of the Billy's points so far. So Spees has got four points and a rebound so far tonight. Making, doing his best to make something happen is the senior. He's, he's, a, he's been aggressive. He is not settling for an outside shot, and we need more of that from our guard play tonight is be, being willing to be aggressive with taking that ball into the paint. He is going to get a foul there, though, his first of the night. So we have just over a minute left. It is 11 to 11-4 Davenport, four points all from Spees. Mm -hmm. is all the Billies have so far in the quarter. Right now it is both the Green brothers, Spees, Hirschman, and Immel on the court. That's Barrett and Austin Green. Immel working against Glode. Got to watch this. Swings yep. it left to Good. Rios. Rios is on the left side, trying to make something happen. The uh, Without 41, without their big center in, uh, they, they've scored their 11 points, but they haven't scored in probably close to two minutes. So this is what I'm talking about, where they start fast. Ooh, we don't. We got to watch this. Good. D Danielson misses the wide open three, but it's still what Davenport ball. Rios to the basket over a couple of men. Barrett with the rebound, going back the other way. It's one against five. Is he going to go to the rim? He is. It's blocked, but the foul is called on number three, Cameron Gaston, his first. Uh, thank you, Barrett, for being aggressive. Uh, that's one. And so, you know, let's get within five at the end of the first quarter. That feels like a win right now, especially how fast they came out and scored 11 points. Uh, but they haven't scored for a while. So it really feels like if you can get two points here and close this thing down, that uh, you're giving yourself a fighting chance going into the now second Now you're only going to get at least one. Barrett misses the first. You make a good point, though. I mean, you get out, you fall behind 7-0, and you're yeah. like, oh, boy. going to no. be one of those nights. But they've battled. Yeah. If they can just find some offense, they're right in this thing. Yes. The second from Green is good. So he makes one of two. He's on the board with a point. Get back on 25 here. 25 seconds left in the first quarter. That is number three, Gaston. We're going to shoot this. That's Danielson on the corner. Pump fake. Ball gets away from him. Who's going to pick it up? Nobody currently. Ends up in the arms of Garston. Yes. Immel with the steal, going back the other way for the Billies. He's got Spees in the corner. He's going to go to the basket, and he draws the foul. Good play from Brooks Immel to get the steal and then make something happen on the other end. 7.1 seconds left. We can close this. Let's hit both free throws. We can close this within four. Uh, but we have scored all seven of our points off being aggressive and attacking the rim, whether it's in transition or Reed Spees with his four points, putting the ball on the floor and getting into the lane. That is something we have to continue into the second quarter. Emil misses the first. It just kind of bounces in and out. That's Carson Bless checking back in the game for Davenport. So is Jonathan. So is uh, Ricky Groff, the big freshman. He Ooh. makes that one. So Emil goes one for two. 
Billy's two for four from the charity stripe so far tonight. That ball's gonna almost get away from Brandon Castilla. Ends up being a corner three. And there's gonna be something. I'm not sure what the call, nothing there. So he misses the three into the first quarter. Davenport 11, Billy six. A lot going on, I got an exciting game. Stay tuned here on Billy's.Live. Hello friends, this is Shane Fronson from The Inside Story. We'd like to thank you, our Ferksburg community, for trusting us with all your home decorating needs. Whether wood or tile floors, window treatments or wallpaper, vinyl plank or paint, for 43 years now, you've made us the number one rated store in the area. And we couldn't be prouder to back our Billies right here on Billies.Life. Thank you, Fredericksburg, for choosing The Inside Story. Drop by today and let us help make your house a home. What is the FISD Education Foundation? Since our inauguration in 2018, the foundation has financially supported teachers and students from all our campuses achieve academic excellence. Our fundraising efforts help offset the adverse effects and depletion of resources brought on by state Robin Hood policies. Visit FISDkids.org to learn more. The FISD Education Foundation, partnering with our community because we're better together. Security State Bank and Trust is a proud supporter of our local athletes. Whether it's on or off the field, game day or any day, they're here to help you succeed and tackle your financial goals. From personal and business banking to mortgage services or trust services, Security State Bank and Trust can support all your banking needs, helping build communities we call home since 1941. Security State Bank and Trust, proud sponsors of Batlin Billy Sports. Let's go Billies! Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. I want to thank everybody once again for tuning in to Billy's.Live. And if you're not subscribed, you're wrong and you need mm -hmm. to fix that. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you're not missing all the stuff that happens here in Gillespie County and, all, and everything that we cover here on Billy's and FBG.Live. We're currently covering the stock show. Billy's Trail Davenport 11-6 to here. But it's been a good game, Cody. Yeah, we've closed well in the end of that first quarter. Uh, down by five. Could have been really... Cl much closer than that, but it's not a not a uh, not a, a bad look at all for us. Here Kimmel we go. For Here three. we go. Here we go. Just in and out. Oh. Rebounded Good. by Austin. Puts it back up. Still can't get it to hit. Green's going to get his own rebound though. Austin Green is made him making his presence known very quickly at a varsity level. Love to see it. Here we go, Emil. Really, Come on now. He really Come is. on now. Still can't get the three. Austin to fall. Green uh, again. Another rebound for Green. Barrett puts it up. Austin Still Green can't again. Hit. Yes, sir. Austin Green getting three key rebounds, really hustling and giving us extra chances. Uh, just a fantastic offensive effort there. He's come off the bench and played well. 11 to eight now, Billy's scored the first points of the second quarter. On the court for the Billy's is Spees, Green, Hirschman, Barrett Green, and Emil. The same five they ended the first quarter with. And that gave them a little bit of momentum. Mm -hmm. That's Castilla, swings it to Bless. He's gonna attack the basket, can't hit it. Rebounded by Danielson, swings it. Bless in the corner for three, got it. It's a flat three-point ball, but he gets that thing to go in. It's a three-pointer nonetheless. 14 to eight, Davenport leads. Just under six oh, minutes, Emil great pass from Emil. Pass. Hirschman to the basket, can't hit. Blocked by, blocked by Groff. Hirschman goes back up, still can't hit. Rebounded Austin. by... God, oh, just Austin trying to Green. get the rebound. He gets the rebound, just uh, threw it off the wrong guy and couldn't get, tried to throw it off a leg and couldn't get it to happen. Ends up in the hands of Groff. Another three from Bless, still can't hit. Spees with the rebound, and they're going to the call back. the foul there on number three, Cameron Gaston. So, Spees has got two rebounds and four points already tonight. 14 to eight is the score. Davenport leads. We've got a couple new faces in. Number two. I mean, number, number two, Hayden Glode is in the game for Davenport alongside Bless, Groff, Soakup, and got Castilla. Green to the basket. Go. Great pass to Hirschman. Yes, Can't hit, yes, but he's going to go yes, to the line. Yes. Have I noted anything about aggression on the, uh, to the rim yet? I, I think so. It, it's working. It's working. Um, boy, one of the things we are seeing here tonight, is we, we wanted to see who would break out. Hirschman did it earlier in the week. Uh, right now, you got to tab Austin Green as the guy who is the the, the surprising addition that's really helping us Absolutely. get extra chances. Hirschman hits his first. 
He's got three now. So if, uh, you're, if you're keeping track, Austin Green, since coming in the game, has three rebounds. Mm -hmm. His first varsity appearance since tournament season. Uh, Mr. Hirschman's. I, I like the way Caden is playing against a six foot seven freshman. He's not being afraid of the freshman's height. He's using his body. He's using his smarts. And uh, now his hands. Almost gets there another go. steal. It's going to be a jump ball. Barrett Green. Should be Fredericksburg ball here. Gets in there with soak up, and it is Billy's ball. 14 to 10. It's now a four point game. Billy's trailed by as much as nine at mm -hmm. one point in the first quarter. It's 11 2, and we've been making a great run at it. We got full port crush Can't from the Wolves. That. Green's going to get called for the foul, and number two, Hayden Glode, is going to go to the line. If you're Coach Kamen, you got to like what you're seeing right now. Uh, they're not hitting the three ball. We're, with the exception of the the recent turnover by Barrett Green. We've been doing a really good job with ball security. We're getting the ball up the court. We're attacking the rim. Uh, you're in this game. And absolutely in the scouting report for Davenport, they come out hot first and second quarter. Uh, the, lo the six losses that they have, they have the, uh, a pretty significant lull in the third quarter, even into the fourth a little bit. And you really think as Billy's, based upon how we played earlier this week, uh, which we did really well in the third quarter, that if we can hang around and be within that five to seven range getting into the third quarter, it gives us a fighting chance. Speed's working against Soak up on the right side. Five minutes left in the second quarter. Billy's trail by six, but they're in it. Austin Green's got it on the right. Swings it left to Joffrey. Joffrey to Spees. Spees working against Soak up. They're gonna get Soak up with the foul there. Getting a little too handsy there. Had some uh, quarterback on quarterback play there. Yeah, a little bit. I was going to mention that. Reed Spees being the starting quarterback for the Billies. Daniel Sokup, the starting quarterback for the Davenport football team. So, speaking of quarterbacks, Brooks Simmel in the game. Swings it left to Joffrey. Joffrey mm. tried to get that to Hirschman, but it is stolen by number one, Carson Bless. And that foul is going to go against, I believe it was Immel. His first foul of the night, 4.50 to go, 16 to 10. Davenport leads here in Fredericksburg. Billies are 0-1 in district. This will be their first win in district play. Davenport is 2-0. Wins over Kenyon Lake and Navarro. The tray, not good. Rebounded by Bless on the left side. That tray was shot by Glode. Groff to the basket, can't hit. Good defense from Hirschman. Immel with the rebound, going back the other way. Spees has got it in the corner, Joffrey, but he can't handle the pass. Turnover for the Billies. Wasn't the pass. Joffrey saw the opening down the baseline, and his brain got there before the ball got to his hands. Four minutes, 19 seconds left in the second quarter. Davenport came into this quarter leading 14 to eight. 12 to eight, I'm sorry. They only scored two points. Immel swings it to Green. Green to Joffrey. Billy's trying to find an opening on the perimeter. Come on, Emmel. Brooks, Come on, Emmel. he's 0 for 3 from I three think he so got far. Tipped. Can't hit that one. Go Puts again. it back up. Still can't hit. Immel struggling there. And Castilla takes it to the other side. 18 to 10 now for Davenport. He's got four, does Castilla. Spees has got the ball. Swings it to Immel. Austin Green in the corner. Billy's need to slow it down here. Yes, we definitely do. Uh, playing frantic plays right into their defensive strategy. They got great team defense. They clog the passing lanes really well. Here we go. Come and on, Joffrey. Joffrey. Joffrey He's comes just got to take short. that with confidence. Hirschman with the rebound. Goes back up. Rolls out. Rebounded by Davenport. Long pass to Castilla. Easy buckets. Got to get back and on that's D. That's going to be a timeout for the Billies. We're going to take it with them. Davenport extends their lead. They're on a six-point run. What will the Billies do coming out of the timeout? It's grilling time in Hill Country Propane, Inc., and we've got the latest models of stainless steel grills made in America. Our showroom is full of grills by Wilmington, AOG, Fire Magic, and Phoenix. We offer Primo ceramic grills and pellet grills by Smokin' Brothers. Summertime is the time to celebrate grilling for family and friends. Come on in today and let our experienced team demonstrate features of the grill you deserve. Hill Country Propane, Inc. 
Go Propane. My name is Rick Barangi, and I'm the owner and founder of Long Neck Manor. I met Donnie uh, several years ago because I was building a state-of-the-art barn for my giraffe, 10,000 square foot barn, and there's nobody in uh, the area, not just Fredericksburg, but in the region that could understand the complexities of building such a structure. Donnie's team is amazing. When they come out here, they're very professional, they're quick, they're thorough. You get a product even better than you expected. Welcome back with the Billy's Trail by 10. But I'm going to throw it over to Cody real quick. Cody, what we got coming up? Yeah, let's, let's look at what's coming up next for Billy's.Live. Hopefully you're subscribed to us. But 6.15 on Tuesday, January 9th, uh, join us as the Lady Billy's take on Bandera. That's a district game for us. And then 6.15, Friday, January 12th, uh, you get to hear Reed and I in our golden pipes yet again for a uh, matchup against Bernie. We know it's the best part of your week, and you got us <laughs> twice this week. So it's been a great week. <laughs> it's a great way to start out 2024. <laughs> Listen to us. So Hirschman oh gets the my. Billies back. Soak up from deep. Can't hit. There's a foul, got? believe, called on number 11. That is Josh Bendley, his first foul of the night. So Hirschman, currently the team leader in points. He's got six. Um, Spees has four. Emil has one. Austin Green, though, notably, came off the bench. He's got three rebounds. He's out of the game. Brayton Statler and Sterling White are both in the game for the Billies, along with Spees, who hasn't come out, Joffrey, and Hirschman. Uh, this is an interesting uh, substitution lineup there by Coach McNeil of Davenport. Uh, he's done that. He did this at the end of the deep three Spies by Spees. From very deep. Hirschman. Hirschman ends up with it, goes back yes. up, and one. Yes, nope, and they're going to call it on the floor. So it's oh, not going to no. The bucket's not going to count, but I do believe the foul is yeah, going to go foul's on. Foul's going to go. Number, shooting foul. It is a shooting foul, but it is before the ball went in. So the points don't count, but he does get two shots. I thought I might give him a continuation there. But to continue my thought, Coach McDeal did this at the end of the first quarter. Uh, pretty substantial substitution change. They don't have any height on the floor. They've taken out some of their better guards. And uh, that was that gave us the ability to close from 11-2 and, and bring it in within four points. Uh, not sure what his strategy is here, but Billy's have got to capitalize here in this next two and a half minutes. Hirschman makes both. He's perfect from the line so far tonight. He's got eight. As Davenport brings about up, just want to make sure that we give a quick shout out to our title sponsor, Lance Kovar Family Dentistry, where technology meets a gentle touch. Once again, we're very grateful for the sponsors we have here as Spees gets hit with a foul there. They allow us to do what we do. Mm -hmm. And we really do not get to do what we're doing right now without them. So thank you very much for sponsoring us at Billies.Live and allowing us to continue to bring these events to you. So 20 to 14 now. Davenport yep. goes on a run. Billy's claw crawl back in it. Davenport yes. goes on a run. That's yeah. how the game's yeah. been so it's far. It's been some rubber banding here. Currently, it is 20 to 14. Davenport has the lead. Just over two minutes to go. Danielson in the corner for three. It's long. Can't hit. Hirschman. Hirschman with the rebound. He's got two of those. Stolen by Rios. Puts it back up. Not, not does not go in. Spees with another rebound. Smart move by Spees there. There's the senior leadership. Slow things down. Slow it down. It was getting a little hectic. So Joffrey working against, that is number three, Gaston. Sterling White swings it to Statler. Statler to Hirschman. Ball gets away from him. That's going to be a steal. We do have a wolf down. That's number 20, J Joseph Danielson. We're going to go ahead and take a break as they tend to this young man. We hope he's okay. Stay tuned here on Billy's Die Live. Ooh, man. You're playing like a new player since your hip surgery. I'm telling you, Texas Hill Country Orthopedics and Sports Medicine has changed my life. I lived with the pain of that old football injury for years. Never thought I'd walk right again. They did this minimally invasive procedure thing. Really sped up my recovery faster than I ever imagined. Man, I've been struggling with this old tennis elbow for years. I wonder if they could help me out. Absolutely. They work wonders. Texas Hill Country Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, getting you back in the game of life. Arizona Plumbing, your full-service plumbing provider for the Fredericksburg community and beyond. We have the tools and experience for comprehensive residential and commercial plumbing, including everything from water filtration to drain services for new construction or even remodeling. Have an after-hours emergency? No problem. Don't settle for less than the best. We're online at arizolaplumbing.com. 
or give us a call at 830-998-4336. Happy to report that young man, Joseph Danielson, is up and on his feet, getting a little bit of help from Lucas Scheidemantle, the Billy's trainer, and the first-year coach of the Davenport Wolves, Marcus McNeil. We wish nothing but the best for Danielson. He's had a good, great game tonight, come off the court and played well. Mm -hmm. He's a sophomore. So hopefully good news for Joseph Danielson. So on the court now for the Wolves, that's Rios Castilla. That's number 11, Bindley. Number one, Bless. And number three, Gaston. For the, for the, for the Billies, Emil White, Statler, Hirschman, and Joffrey. Hirschman's played well tonight. He's got eight points. You mentioned it pregame. He was going to be important. We've already seen that show up. Yes. Here's a corner three from Castilla, but the Ooh. whistle blows before the shot, and they're going to call travel on Davenport. 127. Uh, Mr. Hirschman proved earlier this week that you can score a lot in just a few minutes. He's continued uh, to do so. Yeah, and we want to see this. We need to see the same thing this evening. Give us some little help here. Joffrey to Immel. That's a full court pass. Swings it to Hirschman. He's oh, got that, 10. That's a tap. It's a tap steal. Uh, it was not a pass. It was actually tapped by the defensive player straight to Hirschman. Hirschman takes, takes the ball and capitalizes on it. Hirschman's got 10. He's come off the bench and played well. Gaiman's in foul trouble. He's already got two. He had two by midway through the first quarter. So it's been a lot of the Hirschman show, and you know what? It's working. It's working. And Sterling White needs to step up here, especially as one of the taller guys. He's got a lot of bounce in his step. And he can double not as much on the offensive side, but certainly on the defensive side. Uh, for Gaiman. Here we go. There's, getting a, us rebound. A, rebound for There's us. a rebound for White, his first of the night. 46 seconds. Let's see if we can get, get ourselves a nice shot and close this within two. Davenport just trying to live and die by the three ball right now, and it's not working for him. Hirschman comes up with it. A little bit of a battle for the ball. Bendley's going to come up with it. Easy buckets for Davenport. He's got two, his first points of the night. 22 to 16. We got 20 seconds left. There's another steal for Bendley. Rios to the basket over Hirschman, can't hit. Lots of contact. Bindley with the rebound. We've gone from down by four and in about 30 seconds, down by eight and now down by 10. The full court nope. press is yes. causing issues. As that's, Cole that Rios. that's that team defense that I was talking about at the beginning of the game that just has the ability to uh, score real quick, get into the passing lane. We go from a game that we are totally in Within less than one minute, we're down by 10. So not the type of run and ending to the quarter you were hoping for for the Billies. We'll talk about it. What do the Billies need to do to stay in the game? Find out here on the Halftime Show here in just a couple of minutes. Hello, my name is Greg Nebgen with 4N Cattle Company. I want to talk to you a little bit about J4 Trailer and my experience. So I was looking for a new cattle trailer. Stopped by, talked to Josh, customized what I wanted. I own a local business. I want to do my business local. Prices were very competitive. I looked at trailers everywhere. They were $1,000 cheaper, if not more. I was going to buy local anyway. They beat everybody in price. And then they even delivered it. J4 Trailer, that's where I got mine. At the Real Estate Advisory Team, we know the Texas Hill Country and we know Texas Hill Country Real Estate. With the Real Estate Advisory Team, you'll have a team of experienced local professionals who value honesty and integrity and work tirelessly to help you achieve your real estate goals. Give us a call or stop by today. We would be honored to help turn your Texas Hill Country dream into a reality. Go Billies! Strayer and Offers has been going strong since 1928. They specialize in tires and tire repair, wheel balancing, front end alignment, brake repair, tune-ups, oil changes, belts and hoses, complete auto repair. Make sure you check out the Kawasaki Mules and custom-built trailers ready to go to work for you. For quality Chevron products, Strayer and Offers, 509 South Adams Street, Fredericksburg. Call 830-997-4382. Check them out online, StrayerandOffers.com. 
Arrowhead Bank is celebrating 100 years of serving the Hill Country. Their goal is to greet you by name when you walk in the door and provide you the banking help you need today. You're guaranteed to speak to someone you know when you pick up the phone. Arrowhead Bank wants to thank all the employees of Fredericksburg ISD. Good luck to the Batlin Billies in all activities this school year. Arrowhead Bank, 502 South Adams, 830-990-9300. Check them out online, arrowheadbanktexas.com. Welcome to Creek Street Dental, where we strive to treat our patients with compassion, kindness, and care. We utilize the latest technologies in our commitment to your family, offering cone beam technology, cosmetic dentistry, and sedation dentistry so you can sleep through your appointment. Stop by and meet our newest addition, Dr. Monica Montgomery, from the Fredericksburg High School class of 2014. Creek Street Dental, on the corner of Creek Street and South Adams in Fredericksburg. Top five reasons we love Gaddy's in Fredericksburg. Number five, their student teacher lunch discount. Number four, their all you can eat buffet. Number three, they have a huge variety of fresh veggies at the salad bar. Number two, Gaddy's pasta and pizza is always hot and ready. And best of all, they even do the dishes. Gaddy's Pizza, Highway 16 South, across from the fairgrounds. Since 1974, Hill Country Refrigeration has been bringing something extra to every residential customer, besides a cozy and comfortable home. It's built into every heating or air conditioning service. It's part of every estimate. You'll feel it in our handshakes. We carry it with us in our trucks, and it's forever in our hearts. It's our deep love for this community, and of course, our Batlin Billies. When it comes to managing your financial investments, any idea how much of your money it takes just to cover your investor's fees? My name is Eddie Kramer, Certified Financial Planner Professional from the Batlin Billy Class of 2000. At SSBNT Wealth Management, all our advisors are on salary, so we never receive commissions, loads, or kickbacks from your investments. So guess who keeps more of your money? You do. Your plan, your goals, your purpose. Give us a call today, 990-7750. Let's go. Three seconds on the clock. The shot's up for three. It's good, and the Phillies win. A successful fast break should end with a goal. Are your retirement plans and goals a slam dunk, or does it need some more practice? At Joseph Financial Partners, we'll draw up a play to get you down the court and set you up for the win. We can't help you with your basketball game, but we can get your portfolio in shape for the championships. Call Joseph Financial Partners at 830-997-4763 or online at josephfinancialpartners.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial Member FINRA Civic. One phone call to Bee Creek was all it took, and our speeds crazy fast. Bee Creek Communications, always on high speed internet. We sure hope you're enjoying the coverage of today's game, and if you are, do us a favor be sure and thank DR Welding. Quality and craftsmanship make the difference. Texas Hill Country Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, get your stride back. Arrowhead Bank, financial services for the Hill Country since 1923. Arizona Plumbing, the Hill Country's number one plumber. And by J4 Trailers, that's where I got mine. Well, good. Just once again, I want to say thank you to everybody for tuning in. I hope you all had a happy new year. And for my fellow teachers and students, I hope you've enjoyed your break and hope you're ready to go back here in a couple days. I sure know I'm not. Wish I had another week. <laughs> but uh, we got the stock show going on and all kinds of stuff going on here in the Gillespie County. And right now the Billies trail by 10, but they really shouldn't be, Cody. Nope, nope. Uh, we were down by four with less than a minute to go. And we uh, collapsed mentally is the way I would put it. Three quick steals in succession by Davenport and uh, three quick easy layups for them in transition, getting them uh, up to the score we currently have, 26-16. You know, and it's, it's interesting because one of the things you you talk you always talk to Coach Kamen before the game, mm -hmm. 
And it, it's kind of frustrating because coming off of the Ingram game where they really, I thought, played their most complete game yes. we have seen yep. maybe in two years. Correct. They played awesome on all cylinders. Everyone was rolling. Well, didn't they They get into this week and we got stock show going on? And Kamen said that ended up becoming an issue. Yeah, he said as many as seven players missed, missed one practice because of these young men's commitment to agriculture, which we applaud. And yet I think that's part of what you saw at the end of the first half is just mentally they broke and didn't pay attention to what was going on and allowed Davenport to, uh, to stay on top of it and score quickly. So it'll be interesting to see, can they kind of tighten the shit? Because I really don't feel like, you know, I really don't feel like they're out of this because Davenport is that much better. We've just kind of getting in our own way a little yeah, bit. Yeah, there's, there's no doubt Davenport is a great basketball team, an excellent basketball team, very well coached, uh, very fundamental. But uh, we can play with them. But, but we have played with them, and yet we've also beaten ourselves. And that's one of the keys that we've got to take into the second half is uh, make Davenport win the game. Don't give Davenport the win by just beating yourself with the sloppy basketball that we saw at the end of the sec- first half. Absolutely. So, like I said, you know, get the ship back on back on track. Yes. You know, get everything tightened, and let's go get back in this game. We got two minutes till we come back, so we're gonna go back to break. When we come back out, let's go win a ball game here on Billy's Live. Fredericksburg trails 16 to 26. You don't want to miss the finish here on Billy's Live. Support for the Billies comes from Knopp Healthcare and Votive Hospice, family owned by Fredericksburg natives. Knopp's currently has Fredericksburg's best star rating on Medicare. We'd like to thank the people of Fredericksburg for voting us best of 2023 in the newspaper's Reader's Choice Awards. Knopp's won a total of five categories, including best nursing home, best assisted living, and best physical therapy. Votive is proud to have won best hospice. We'd love to help you when you need us. Call Krisha at 830-928-9956. Knopp Healthcare and Votive Hospice. Small town heart, generations of care. Hello friends, this is Shane Fronson from The Inside Story. We'd like to thank you, our Fergusburg community, for trusting us with all your home decorating needs. Whether wood or tile floors, window treatments or wallpaper, vinyl plank or paint, for 43 years now, you've made us the number one rated store in the area. And we couldn't be prouder to back our Billies right here on Billies.life. Thank you, Fredericksburg, for choosing The Inside Story. Drop by today and let us help make your house a home. Segner's Jewelers is a proud Battle and Billy sponsor and big fans of our hometown team. Segner's has served generations of FISD families and friends and will be here to serve future generations. Located at 236 West Main Street or find us on the web at segnersjewelers.com. We're with you all the way. Go Billies! Thirty seconds to the beginning of the second half, where the Billies are looking to figure things out. Real quick, I want to give a huge thank you to uh, a lady that came up and corrected us on a couple things on the broadcast. So we've been calling uh, Daniel Soka number two tonight. We've been told that's not correct. He's apparently not with the team; doesn't play basketball. So Cole Hastman is the young man who's had a great game for them, uh, wearing number two. So we'll make sure we get that right. Uh, so Hastman, apologize for getting you wrong in the first half. We were going off the rosters that we had on Max Preps. Everyone knows Max Preps can be a little iffy. Yep. So, uh, but Hastman is the young man that's having a great game for Davenport. So we will get that right the next of the game, the rest of the game. Thank you very much to the to the uh, Davenport fan that came and corrected us. We greatly appreciate it. We we do our best to try to highlight those gen- those young men just as much as ours because they yes. work just as hard. So. Uh, and it's a great basketball team we have the pleasure to cover tonight. So that is number three, Cameron Gaston starting things off for Davenport. Trying to shoot the mid-range jumper over Gaiman. Ends up thinking against it. That's Brandon Castilla. He's got six tonight. He's had a good game. One of the things we've noted in the first half is the addition of Pull Austin up three Green. from Castilla is it's good. Nice Speaking of having a good game. It's a good three. We've noted the addition of Austin Green. Let's get a little help here. Uh, one of the things he provides is, one, hands, uh, similar to his <laughs> brother as a guard. Right but, two, he, he's also a, a big guard. He's a strong guard. Here we go. Gaiman, you know this. You know you're struggling when in the third quarter, Gaiman has his first points yeah, of the night. Yeah, he's had some foul trouble. 
Gaiman's your leading scorer in points per game at 12, but he's been very quiet tonight. Credit to Davenport getting him in foul trouble early as Ricky Groff gets Davenport going there. 31-18, Davenport leads now. Immel in the right corner, gets it into Gaiman. Gaiman working against Groff, rejected by Groff. That's the got, first block of the night for the freshman. I, I think Gaiman can probably, uh, at least on... Rios in the corner, got it. Ah. This is what we, we expected to see and frankly did not see in the first half is this quick transition ball by Davenport, catching guys open on the corners and hitting the threes. They weren't able to do that in the first half. Uh, we got to correct this quickly. Great pass there from Barrett Green to Gaiman for two. 34 to 20. Groff to the basket, can't hit. Rebound is a little bit of a battle for the rebound between Rios and Spees. It's going to be Billy's ball. Cole Rios has had a great game tonight for Davenport. Yeah. He's got seven, including the three-pointer just a couple seconds ago. 34 to 20 is our score now. A little bit of uh, roughhousing there between the two teams. Yeah, it's a uh, – got to say. Some, there's some jawing a little bit. The JV game was physical. I expected this game to be quite the same. It really hasn't no, it's been. it's been good. As, bad, as much as I thought it was. Yeah. They're well, competing. But they're definitely uh, competing, but it's staying pretty, you know, staying pretty calm. clean, which is yeah, good to see. Yeah, yeah. Both teams just trying their best to get a win. Here's Gaiman. Swings it to Spees, trying to get the ball up the court. Ga Spees working against Bless. Spees. Got to take advantage of this. Spees you started off seven strong. man on it. Yep. Here's Green there. swings it to Immel. Immel, great pass to Spees underneath. Can't hit. Gaiman goes for the putback. Still can't get it. Green puts it up. Austin Green gets his first points of the night. Here's the corner three. Can't hit. Rebounded by Rios. This is where we've got to get set quickly. Got to love to hit these threes off of some scramble stuff. Got to get those defensive rebounds. Tried for the alley, uh, alley layup there, but Bless can't hit it. Immel's now got it. Swings it to Spees underneath. Still can't get it to go. Rebounded by Davenport, despite an effort from Gaiman to make that not happen. Three from Rios. Can he short, hit it? Short. Mm, just short. Billy's ball. Rebounded by Austin Green. He's got five of those now. Great effort to get it to Emil. Also play by Austin. Slow things down here. Now it's Barrett Green. He's going to lose the ball, but there's going to be some contact. That foul is going to go against number three, Cameron Gaston, his second. Hey, I just want to tell you something. I just saw the first. I just saw for the first time a foul call that you and I talked about in pregame that we've never seen before. We just saw a reach-in foul. Reach -in we foul. A reach-in foul. We called a reach-in foul. We're going see all 2K on this. Hayden Glode checks in the game. For Davenport, oh, also in is Josh Bendeley. Mm. Here's a big play for Brandon Castilla. Got it on the coast to coast. He's having a great night. Brandon Castilla is a junior. He's in double digits in the points. Here's Gaiman. Gaiman tries to get it to Barrett. This Bindley. is the team defense that Davenport is known for. Is their guys really cover the passing lanes, and we got to be careful about this. Bendeley has He's three going steals. Hand Two yeah. of them came in that six-point run there to end the second, first half. 36-22. We got a little bit of a – and then we'll take a quite – I thought we had a shooting foul. We're going to wait a second on that. Here comes Statler. He's going to check in for Austin Green. In the recent win, also coming in. In the recent win, by, uh, Davenport had over Canyon Lake in district play. They had 18 steals. That's a lot of steals. They're getting close to that's it tonight. That's not turnovers. That's steals. Here's Castilla. Castilla's having a monster night. Bless from the corner. Got it. Carson Bless is on the board. His second three-pointer of the night. Give him eight. Joffrey's caught in the corner. Gets it to Barrett. Spees. No, another. that. Bindley is all over it yeah, they're in the too, transition they're, defense. They're too long and athletic to start trying to lob balls over the top of everybody. Play fundamental basketball, bring the ball up the court, look to get decent passes, not like that. You've got to anticipate stuff. Statler rushed that three, airballed it. Oh, come on, did we get this? Spees nope. is going It's oh, going to be. Give it on, they're going to call it on Spees. The foul goes on Spees. His well, well, hang on. third. Hang on. I'd not, no, I, no, there's no foul there. It might have been time. It might have been out of bounds. I think his foot was on out of bounds. Yeah. So out of bounds. 39-22. Davenport has a lead. Glowed in the game. Swings it right to Castilla. Castilla has really been the focal point of the offense so far. There's Bless. He's got eight. Here's Bendeley. 
Swings it to the corner to Bless, trying to work against Joffrey. What a move to get around Joffrey, but can't hit the shot. Bindley with the rebound, swings it out. That's number two, Cole Hassman. Oh, good hustle by Hassman and by Barrett, Barrett battling for the ball. Barrett's got his arm caught up. I hope he got out of that okay. That looked ugly. And I believe they're going to call the jump ball. Got a little chippy there for a moment. And that happens on those on the court. So it is a jump ball, but it stays Davenport's ball. So Glode's going to toss it in here for Davenport. Carson Bless will bring it up. There's Glode working against Barrett Green. Swings it right to Bindley. Here's Castilla on the right side. Good ball movement from the Wolves, trying to find an opening. Bless to Castilla at the top of the key. That's Bindley working against Gaiman. Reed looking for Four it. Four on five. Great effort from Bless. Did he draw the foul? I believe he did. And it's going to go on Gaiman, his third. Is Bless okay? He came up a little tender. Uh, very beginning of the game, he uh, been, grabbed his shoulder. And uh, it looks like he's kind of got a bruise or something or something going on with his it would be a big loss. Uh, Bless yeah, has it, had a great night. He's, he's great, had, got eight points. Let's great see what ball he does handler. here. Great Real ball quick handler. while we have a minute while he takes these shots, let's get a quick word from one of our sponsors, the FISD Education Foundation. The Fredericksburg ISD Education Foundation wants you to know that every dollar counts. Give today at FISDkids.org. Thanks again to the Education Foundation for sponsoring us and all the great things they do for educators in our area. Reminder, if you will, stay tuned after the game for the Sterling Real Estate post-game show. Kerry Burgess of Fredericksburg Standard and Coach Kamen of the Billies will have a bit of a chat about the game going on in front of us. So 40-22. to 22. Davenport has started to run away with this one as Bendeley continues to be aggressive defensively but doesn't come away with the steal that time. Statler, Joffrey, Spees, Barrett, and Gaiman in the, green, in the game right now. Barrett swings it to Gaiman. Ball gets away from Gaiman. Just about takes somebody's head off in the stands, and that's going to be a Billy's turnover. So Cole Hassman in the game alongside Bindley, Rios, Bless, and Glode. Three minutes to go here. 40-22 to 22 Davenport leads. And this has really just kind of gotten away. Kamen is going to I believe we're taking a timeout here. He is. So we'll go ahead and take it with them here. Davenport leads 40 to 22. Stay tuned here on Billy's.Live. Security State Bank and Trust is a proud supporter of our local athletes. Whether it's on or off the field, game day or any day, they're here to help you succeed and tackle your financial goals. From personal and business banking to mortgage services or trust services, Security State Bank and Trust can support all your banking needs, helping build communities we call home since 1941. Security State Bank and Trust, proud sponsors of Batlin Billy Sports. Let's go Billies! Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Coach Kamen is having a, com a conversation with one of the referees here for uh, tonight's game. He's very heated about something. Nonetheless, could be just he's down 18 in a district game. You know, it's, it's been a tough second half so far. Yeah, we haven't played well, and he's, he's frustrated, understandably. Uh, but I'm not sure what his grief is. I'm sure maybe we'll hear about it in the postgame show. Once again, Sterling Real Estate is going to sponsor our postgame show. Conversation is continuing, and I believe we're about to get, here we go. Back to the action. Glode tosses it into Bless. Conversation is still continuing over there in the corner. Ball gets away. Good effort from Barrett. Rios makes him jump, though, and hits the mid-range jumper. Rios, Cole Rios having a good night for Davenport. And now that... that Forces a turnover there, does Rios. 42-22. Hey, I'm a Billies fan. I'm interested in the Billies winning this ball game. But you got to respect game. Uh, Coach McNeil. What a toss Jeez. from Rios. From Bless to Rios, and he gets wow. the N1. That's a heck of a play from a young man. Coach McNeil. 
is what you just call a downright good coach. This man obviously knows basketball, and he has his guys well coached. They all move well. Uh, you can tell he probably comes from a shooting background, maybe as a point guard, maybe in his playing days, because he's coached his guys on how to shoot well. Uh, they space well. They play Team D. It's, this, is, this is a good-looking ball team. Rios converts the play. He's got 12 now. This has been our problem right here is ball security and getting out of the full court press. Getting out of the full Since court Davenport press. went to the full court press, it has been all Wolves. Barrett to Gaiman. Gaiman rejected by Bendeley, but he's going to get hit with the foul. So Bendeley's going to eat that one. He's got three, so he's getting in a little bit of foul trouble there. Had a great night, though, Bendeley has. Gaiman's going to go to the line. So Bendeley really been impressive in the end of that first half he's the one that came up with the steals that led that six point run he's already got a steal in this quarter and they just about came up with the highlight block there if it weren't for the foul call yep yep this is where the billies uh 45 22 hey we always have a great comeback find something but you you got you got you got to find some things to take away from you got to work on some stuff uh if you're if you're a shooter you need to shoot if you want to drive you need to drive uh, work on our team D. This is a this is a really good team. This is a team that's pr easily going to finish top three in the district, uh, if my prediction goes correct. Glowed from the top, can't hit. Hirschman with the rebound. Good to see him back in the game. And we have a whistle. Believe it's going to be a foul on number two, Cole Hassman. So finish finish strong. Finish strong. Uh, finish well. Coach McNeil pulling some guys, making pretty large substitutions here. So Groff, Gaston back in the game. Castilla, Rios, and Hassman on the court for the Wolves. Hirschman's got it. Mid-range jumper. Does he got it? He does it. Rebounded by Gaston. Ball got away from him. Going to be Billy's ball. I like going back to Hirschman because Hirschman keeps it calm. He doesn't get heated. Yep. And he had a great first half. He comes yep. in with 10 points under his belt already. So came in hoping he can get things going in the positive direction once again for the Billies. Hirschman's been a fun story to follow. He's first year here in Fredericksburg. He played awesome on Tuesday against Ingram. We'd you love know. to see especially uh, what he can do for us as we get farther into the season. And as a junior, even prepping for next season, uh, feels like Another year under Cayman's tutelage and oh, great what a pass, pass from Gaiman, Gaiman to Hirschman. Can Hirschman get the bucket? Uh, he can't, but he will go to the line. So th this is exactly what we're talking about with Hirschman. Hirschman's double teamed. Uh, he's gotten a great pass, but he's just very patient with it. He's got a six-seven guy hanging over his shoulders, and, and yet he uses his body, uses timing, draws a foul, goes to the line, and he's been, as far as my numbers, if my numbers are correct, perfect from the charity stripe. So far, he's four for four, five for Make five, that five for five. And from a, for, a, for a big man, you, you, if you can shoot your free throws as a big man, you, you're going to score some points. One thing for sure when you look at the Billies, the post is not a problem this year. Right. You got Gaiman, and then you go Hirschman. Yeah. The as he hits both. The, the difficulty uh, with, with Gaiman is he's got to really st – we've we got to be careful with him on getting into foul trouble. Uh, Hirschman doesn't get into foul trouble as, as much. Uh, if Gaiman gets into foul trouble, it takes away from his offensive prowess, which we desperately need underneath the Groff basket. Groff with the pull-up jumper. Can't hit. Gets his own rebound. I'd like to see that from the big man. He ain't uh, afraid yeah, to pull I mean, up. He, Wasn't he, quite a three-pointer, but here's, he deep. He, now, he can hit the three. Here's one of the, here's one of the things you got to think about as a Billy. You're going to get to see 6-7, number 41, for four years. That's fun. We're, we're, we're hoping redistricting happens and these guys go to 6-A because <laughs> uh, 41 as a senior – Woo, wait, that's going to be something. Joffrey from this the mid-range jumper. This is the type of thing I want to see from Joffrey is aggressiveness, putting the ball on the floor, uh, getting that mid-range jumper, jumper or getting to the rim. Joffrey only a junior, first year on varsity. Had a little bit of time last year. Been a fun player to follow this year. So here's Gaiman working against Gaston. Pull up pull up three. Does he got it? He does. His, for his second three-pointer of the night, he's got six. And it wasn't as if he was not well covered. I mean, we had Gaiman had hands hands in his face. Uh, just a great shot, and yep. that's one of the things that Davenport's able to do. It's one thing if you can only hit when you're wide open. Davenport, you can close out on them, and they still got good shooters. So Cole Hassman has got. It gets hit with the foul there. 
And that's going to send Joffrey to the line. Billy, Billy's are in the bonus here as we get to the end of the third quarter. 25 seconds left here in the third quarter. Davenport leads by 22, 48 to 26. One point, this game was a four-point game. <laughs> uh, one quarter and about 45 seconds ago, this game this was, was a four-point four point point game. game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and Davenport has found the three ball. Uh, but they also cranked up the the defense. Those steals started coming hot and fast. Joffrey hits both from the charity stripe. He's got four tonight for the Billies. There's Groff at the top of the key. Tries to swing it to Hastman to the basket. Can't hit, but the foul is going to go against Emil. So Brooks, he, he has his second foul of the night. That is a that's – a, that, that's a play where it would be lovely to have our Sterling real estate – replay because a freshman uh, with Jokic of the Nuggets type of touch to make uh, a thread the needle type of pass to a cutting guard uh, that's there's a there's a that's a luxury da 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 Davenport has a, a really bright future great coach good overall team D and a center who's already doing stuff that you don't see for a couple more years so Hasman has his first points of the night Rios can't hit the mid-range jumper. Rebounded by Hirschman. Immel's got it going back the other way. Tries to get it to Joffrey, but it's stolen by Groff. And that will end the third quarter. 49-28 to 28 is our score. Billies have a lot to fix. Can they fix it as we head into the fourth quarter? Here on Billies.Live. My name is Rick Barangi, and I'm the owner and founder of Long Neck Manor. I met Donnie uh, several years ago because I was building a state-of-the-art barn for my giraffe, 10,000 square foot barn, and there's nobody in uh, the area, not just Fredericksburg, but in the region that could understand the complexities of building such a structure. Donnie's team is amazing. When they come out here, they're very professional, they're quick, they're thorough. You get a product even better than you expected. Ooh, man, you're playing like a new player since your hip surgery. I'm telling you, Texas Hill Country Orthopedics and Sports Medicine has changed my life. I lived with the pain of that old football injury for years. Never thought I'd walk right again. They did this minimally invasive procedure thing. Really sped up my recovery faster than I ever imagined. Man, I've been struggling with this old tennis elbow for years. I wonder if they could help me out. Absolutely. They work wonders. Texas Hill Country Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, getting you back in the game of life. Welcome uh, back to Billies.Live as we head into the fourth quarter here. Uh, and what I promised you at one point was a great game. Now yeah. it is a 49-28, looking to be a third district win for the Wolves. But Bonafide blowout here at the moment. A lot of things the Billies can improve on here as we head into the fourth quarter. Emil Joffrey, Barrett Green. We now have to say Barrett Green because we got Austin yes, Green on the roster that's too. correct. And Austin's played very well tonight. He has. Gaiman and Hirschman on the court. So double posts. Two big men now in the game for the Billies. Joffrey. Working against Rios, Bless, Glode, Castilla, and Bindley for the Wolves. High pressure defense right now. They are going to hit the Wolves with a foul there. I don't know what player is going to eat that foul, but they, they are going to take the foul there. I, I will say this for the Billies. Um, we, we've had trouble with ball security. We've had trouble getting the ball up the floor all year. Joffrey Good misses the top Joffrey. of the key three. Just just came up short. Rios but, uh, has got it. Th this is this is the type of thing that you need to work on in this fourth quarter. Uh, likelihood of coming back from this far down is slim, uh, but you've got a lot of work to do. So get to work at working on ball security. Get to work at breaking down presses, because I think more than likely Davenport Davenport is one of the better presses you're going to see in district play. Absolutely. It's a great time to figure out, hey, when we, how do we see do this, this later, how are we going to get out yes. of it? Yes. So here's Davenport trying to get their offense over the 50 mark tonight. A lot of guys on the court that have scored a lot of points. Glowed. He's got it. He's going to drive, shoot over Joffrey. Can't hit. Bendeley just can't quite get the rebound. Barrett ends up with it, and then it goes out of bounds. Who is it going to be out of bounds on? Should be out on Bless. It yes, is yeah. out on Bless. That's number one, Carson Bless. But notice, notice, 
uh, the entire Davenport team is playing defense full court here. That that's a problem for us. You got to have a runner here. You got to have a runner. See if Joffrey gets up the court. He doesn't. Now we're trapped. Now we're trapped again. Here's M. Oaks bringing it up on the right side. S tries to swing it. Bless comes up with the steal. Can he keep it in bounds? He can't. Good effort, though. 49-28 No lack now. of hustle on behalf Absolutely of these Absolutely not. And no lack of speed either. Yeah. Our, guards, our guards tend to try to race up the sideline, and that's a, you can take a step toward that, but if you stay on the sideline, you're giving the defender the ability to just trap you into the side like this, and that's a huge problem. They're you gotta, you got to give open court here. you got to get open court. If you're going to go up the sideline, go up for a few feet, and then cut back to the middle just to give yourself a chance to not have to play three defenders, two from Davenport and one from the inexhaustible sideline. So Hastman's going to check back in as Rios gets, catches his third foul of the night. Now Hastman comes in with three fouls, so we'll see how that goes for him. Barrett Green got it at the top for the Billies as they try to figure out a way around this High-pressure defense of Davenport. Hirschman's got it inside, puts it up, can't hit it. Rebounded by Hayden Glode for the Wolves. And Bless will slow it down. Six minutes to go left in the game tonight. Hassman, three, can't hit. Going to get his own rebound uh, as it bounces close all out. the way gotta back gotta out to out, him. Joffrey. So good-looking good looking win so far if they can hold on to it for McNeil and the Wolves. We're going for the steals, just like Davenport is. You almost uh, have Bless to at this point. Smart little move. Good move by Bless. Shot comes up short. Kept alive by Bindley. We're, go we're going for the same steals that Davenport is. Uh, they're six inches ahead of us. Their timing is just, just a little faster. And they're getting their hands on that ball, and we're missing it, and then getting giving Davenport easy looks at the rim, just like we saw. Emil Joffrey and Hirschman will take a break. Statler, Austin Green, and Spees in the game. Gaston's back in the game for the Wolves. He's had a good game. He's got two three-pointers tonight for the Wolves. So Statler's got it on the left side. Now to Barrett Green, Austin Green, Spees in the corner. Can he hit the wide open three? He cannot. Bounces out. Gets his own oh, rebound. Great rebound by Spees. Lots of contact, and that's going to be a foul on Bindley. He's got four now, so he's in trouble, and he'll probably come out of the game. He will. Here comes Groff, Ricky Groff, the big freshman. So, Gaiman is in the game for the Billies. Corner three from Statler. Can he hit it? Cannot. Bounces out. Rebounded by Bless. Bless is going to swing it down the court to but Castilla, who makes a great effort to catch that ball, but Barrett comes in to block his layup. So give Barrett Green his first block of the night. 49-28, offense has been a little stifled for a little while, Cody. Wide open yep. three for Hassman. Does he hit it? He does not. Bounces out, rebounded by Barrett Green. you got to get up to court quick here before they can set. Five minutes to go here. Spees has got it at the top. What are the Billies going to do here? What do they need to do to get the offense going, Cody? What are you seeing? Uh, they've got it. They've got it. They've got to rotate faster. Here we go. That's a little helpful, but you're not going to get far off it with 6-7. And there's That's a helpful. good shot from Gaiman. Uh, He's we got, got six. we got to rotate faster. The biggest problem on our, for our offense is that we just can't get the ball up the floor across midcourt. There's a little effort there. Oh, what a Lovely. athletic play from Spees to get the steal. Somehow keeps it alive, gets it to the stat. This is right here where we need to break. Yeah, there we go. Get easy Barrett layups. Green. He's got three tonight. We've, had, we've had trouble getting into our offense. It feels like if we can just get up the court and get ourselves established, start moving the ball. Everybody's tired. They're looking at the clock, 32-49, uh, not liking the score, and that can tend to make everything drag. Uh, coach noted it before the game. We just haven't had the practices that he wanted because of these young men's commitments, agriculture, and the stock show, which is we applaud. But it's showing to some as well. They're just not as sharp as you would want them to be in this second district game. So Castilla can't hit the wide open three going back the other way. Green in the paint working against Groff. Puts it up. Little brother That's to brother. An, That's an impressive shot there. Impressive. Uh, maybe not the one coached, but uh, get it to fall. Little brother to brother action. Four points for Green. Three points for Barrett. Barrett Green, that is. Austin and Barrett Green both on the court, both having pretty good games. Yes. Great pass there trying to get it to Hastman, but it does not work out for Bless. Now Rios is going to check back in. It'll be interesting to see. Hassman will take a seat. 
as as the as the season progresses, what Coach Kamen's plan is for Austin Green, because he's certainly shown himself to be uh, capable, a capable, a capable varsity player. And that's going to be a foul on number zero Rios. He's got four now. The one thing Davenport has going against them, they got a couple guys in foul trouble. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's what that's what happens when you are as aggressive as they are with uh, with their hands and, and defense. So here is Spees trying to get the ball in. Cannot get it in. Bless gets the steal. Trying to keep it alive. Ball's being kicked around, and that's going to be called a travel on Bless. He lost his balance. Good effort from Bless. That's exactly what I'm talking about. We have, we're trying to inbound the ball. We have three players. Davenport has two. Uh, Bless is taking the man inbounding the ball, and he, he two twice in a row gets his hands on it, and then finally gets the steal and breaks for the basket. Uh, we got to do a better job than that. There's no reason for that kind of thing happening. You just got to be patient and and make sure your passes are timely. Can't you cannot telegraph your passes? So not at this level. Gaiman working against Castilla, trying to get the ball up the court. Good move to the, he's gonna try to get the ball inbounds to Green, but it's gonna bounce around and that's going to somehow stay Billy's ball. Asher Gaiman playing a little point guard for us. You that don't see that very much. Sight. Yes. Billy's trail by 15 here. 49-34, three minutes to go in tonight's game. Spees gets it to Statler. Across the court to Austin Green. Good effort to try to get it to Gaiman, but he can't get a hand on it. And that's gonna be a Billy's turnover. Three minutes to go, 49 to 34 is our lead, is our score here, Davenport's lead. See what Davenport cooks up here. They have been stuck at 49 for yeah. a, for yeah, a hefty we, minute we, now. We saw this in the first half too. It's, they, Davenport for as good as they are. Travel, travel called here. against Gaston. And I saw that one as a bit of a pick up and carry. For as good as they are, uh, you, you can take it, one of two ways. You can either say uh, it is they have these lulls and that's a bad thing, or you can say, well, that, it's scary if they can figure out how to not have these lulls uh, because they do have lulls in their game where all of a sudden they just – there's Speeds using his athleticism, not getting it to fall. But they use – they uh, they have these lulls and they just can't get anything to fall. And then they go on these runs where all of a sudden they're going to go 15 in a row. So that's Brandon Castilla keeping that one alive. Spees playing with a lot of energy, trying to make things happen. Just not working out. Rios got it. Good pass there from Gaston. Got to talk as a team. Uh, he slipped in behind Asher Gaiman, and Asher never saw him before, until the ball was through the rim. So can the Billies get the ball up the court? That has been their struggle here in the second half. Green to Gaiman. Gaiman to the basket. He's got it. Gaiman's come on strong. He had no points. In the end of the first half, he's got eight, and the Billies are trying to stay in this one. We'll take a break with them here on Billies.Live. Arizona Plumbing, your full-service plumbing provider for the Fredericksburg community and beyond. We have the tools and experience for comprehensive residential and commercial plumbing, including everything from water filtration to drain services for new construction or even remodeling. Have an after-hours emergency? No problem. Don't settle for less than the best. Or online at arizolaplumbing.com or give us a call at 830-998-4336. Hello, my name is Greg Nebgen with 4N Cattle Company. I want to talk to you a little bit about J4 Trailer and my experience. So I was looking for a new cattle trailer. Stopped by, talked to Josh, customized what I wanted. I own a local business. I want to do my business local. Prices were very competitive. I looked at trailers everywhere. They were $1,000 cheaper, if not more. I was gonna buy local anyway. They beat everybody in price. And then they even delivered it. J4 Trailer, that's where I got mine. Welcome back as we head into the final two minutes of tonight's broadcast. Real quick, wanna make sure y'all are getting everything we're doing here on Billies.Live. Make sure you are subscribed. Because if you're not, you're going to miss anything coming up. So thank you all to everyone that's hitting that subscribe button. I know tonight's game is not going the way the Billies wanted, but a lot of good things are happening here. One thing being the Fredericksburg High School cheer team. want to give a quick shout-out to them. They advanced to the finals 
of the state cheer competition, and they are performing again tonight for a shot at a title. Shout out to the Lady Billies. Yes, had no idea about that, so thank you for bringing all of us, including myself, up to date on that accomplishment. Congratulations, ladies. Jody Wilder runs a great program, so shout out to the Lady Billies cheer team as Immel gets on the board. He's got three tonight. Good pass there from Barrett Green, 51-38. Well, All we of a sudden, if the Billies can keep it up, we got a little bit of a game. Yeah, but uh, probably the best part of what just happened is we got the ball up the court just now in a full court press, very patiently uh, picking our spots, everybody moving. Oh, lovely. That's Rios. Just, that's just pretty basketball by Davenport. Rios gets another bu bucket. He's had a great night for the Wolves. Get off the, get off the sideline. It's going to be a foul called. We'll see who it's called on. Spees, it's going to be called on waiting on the number. It's going to be number one, Carson Bless. His first foul of the night. He got this far without a foul. That's impressive. Minute 20, 53-38. Real quick reminder, we did not have our replays tonight, but normally we have our replays, which are usually sponsored by Sterling Real Estate Group. But another thing they sponsor is our postgame show, which we will have tonight. We didn't have one on Tuesday. We will have it tonight. Kerry Burgess of the Fredericksburg Standard will have an interview with head coach Tim Kamen. We'll hear what he has to say about this game. You know, it's been fun, though, over these Christmas break as he makes uh, his second shot. It's been fun to, as we sit in the stands and we get to look at all these former alumni of the Billies. I see uh, a former a former seven-footer in the stands over there from just a year ago. <laughs> Schultz is <laughs> in attendance, Schultz. sitting with Otto Cornett. Yes. Cole, I've seen Cole Immel up there. It's just good to see the Billies coming back home. Representing, supporting their uh, alma mater there. Love and some it. of their former teammates just a year ago. Gaiman swings it to Emil, but he can't handle it, and it's going to go out of bounds, and that's a Billy turnover as we head in to the final minute here. What has been your kind of your takeaway? We knew it was going to be a good game. We knew Davenport was athletic. It kind of feels like we didn't quite see the same Billy as we saw on Tuesday. No. Whether you want to contribute that to Davenport, whether you, know, you want to contribute that to Rust, um, we, we played well in spurts, but we, we haven't put, to game, put together the game we had the other night. Um, There's a steal for Spees. Can he make something happen here? No. No, no it's a uh, – Green keeps it alive. Mid-range jumper. Can't hit. Rebounded by Bless. Spees is going to get hit with the foul. His third. I'm impressed with Carson Bless. This is, a, this is a fine young man playing basketball there. He's had a good night. He's a returning starter. Remember him from a year ago. Very athletic player. Yeah. Gets away from Spees there. Castilla's got it. Back to Glode. Now the Billy's going with a little bit of full court press of their own. See, but Glode gets around Glode it. Just dribbles around it. That's and that's an Bindley. And it looks like Davenport's pretty content with just kind of wearing this game out. Not trying to run it up any more than they already did as far as having a great offensive night. They finally broke 50. They feel like they were stuck there forever. Here's Rios, and they are just going to kind of park the bus. Yep, yep. So 25 seconds, Davenport leads 53-39. Once again, as this one wraps up, stay tuned for the post-game show with Kerry Burgess at the Fredericksburg Standard Radio Post. Yeah, I w I, the Billies, to answer your question or come back to it, the Billies, the, it feels like they still need to, to determine their identity as players. Uh to really capitalize on who we are and, and how we play our best game and really pressing into that, and we hope to see it as the season progresses. Absolutely. So that's it for Cody and I tonight as the Billies fall 53-39. to 39. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Once again, don't go anywhere. We'll have the post-game show, the Sterling Real Estate post-game show with Coach Tim Kamen right here on Billies.Live. Stay tuned. Strayer and Offers has been going strong since 1928. They specialize in tires and tire repair, wheel balancing, front end alignment, brake repair, tune-ups, oil changes, belts and hoses, complete auto repair. Make sure you check out the Kawasaki Mules and custom-built trailers ready to go to work for you. For quality Chevron products, Strayer and Offers, 509 South Adams Street, Fredericksburg. Call 830-997-4382. Check them out online, StrayerandOffers.com. 
Arrowhead Bank is celebrating 100 years of serving the Hill Country. Their goal is to greet you by name when you walk in the door and provide you the banking help you need today. You're guaranteed to speak to someone you know when you pick up the phone. Arrowhead Bank wants to thank all the employees of Fredericksburg ISD. Good luck to the Batlin Billies in all activities this school year. Arrowhead Bank, 502 South Adams, 830-990-9300. Check them out online, arrowheadbanktexas.com. Welcome to Creek Street Dental, where we strive to treat our patients with compassion, kindness, and care. We utilize the latest technologies in our commitment to your family, offering cone beam technology, cosmetic dentistry, and sedation dentistry so you can sleep through your appointment. Stop by and meet our newest addition, Dr. Monica Montgomery, from the Fredericksburg High School class of 2014. Creek Street Dental, on the corner of Creek Street and South Adams in Fredericksburg. Top five reasons we love Gaddy's in Fredericksburg. Number five, their student teacher lunch discount. Number four, their all you can eat buffet. Number three, they have a huge variety of fresh veggies at the salad bar. Number two, Gaddy's pasta and pizza is always hot and ready. And best of all, they even do the dishes. Gaddy's Pizza, Highway 16 South, across from the fairgrounds. Since 1974, Hill Country Refrigeration has been bringing something extra to every residential customer, besides a cozy and comfortable home. It's built into every heating or air conditioning service. It's part of every estimate. You'll feel it in our handshakes. We carry it with us in our trucks, and it's forever in our hearts. It's our deep love for this community, and of course, our Batlin Billies. All right, well, uh, welcome back to the Fredericksburg High School Performance Gym, and uh, I'm Kerry Burgess with the Fredericksburg Standard Radio Post, and uh, we combine with Billy's Live for the post-game show. And we are visiting with head coach Tim Kamen tonight. Talk about the game a little bit there. Physical again. Yeah, it wasn't really much to talk about. Although, you know, uh, as poorly as we played in the first half, um, you know, we had about 40 seconds to go. Uh, we had cut it to four. You know, we had uh, you know our, our two best players. You know, uh, Asher and uh, uh, and Barrett were on the uh, on the bench with foul trouble, uh, and so really I thought we were going to be in good shape. And uh, you know they went on a 6-0 run. We made uh, three turnovers in a row, and and we went down 10. And they, I think the momentum just kind of you know it took the air out of us. Uh, and then we didn't, you know, we didn't come out second half. You know, they, they came out and hit, hit some shots. Yeah. And, uh, and we didn't. We, you know, we, we struggled. We knew taking care of the ball was going to be priority, and uh, we just didn't do a very good job. Coming out in the second half, uh, you guys did play pretty good there in the third quarter. And uh, I know it seemed like they were getting away with a little bit of a physical play down low. You talked to the refs. I know you probably can't talk much about that. But uh, anyway. Uh, it seemed like they were being uh, getting away with a few things. Well, you know, we're, I'm we're old, I'm old fashioned. You know, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna we're gonna throw it inside. Uh, you know, uh, you know, we don't like to play all this perimeter stuff. Everybody, you know, one on one, we don't do that. And we try to get it inside. And and uh, you know, I, I thought we were being pushed, or at least displaced out. You know, we'd have good position, and then we, we when we would catch it, we'd be five feet from where we were. And uh, you know, I, I, yeah, I wasn't real happy with that. And, and you know, when, when teams are allowed to play that physical, we're going to struggle. And, uh, we, you know, we didn't handle it well. Um, and, uh, you know, that's, that's just something we're going to have to continue to adjust to. You know, our, guards, or our guys are going to have to play tougher and they're going to have to play stronger. And, and you know, that's, that's, you know, the way it is. One thing I want to comment or just ask about is Austin Green. He comes up tonight. He actually played a pretty good defensive game. He was getting in everybody's face, picked up. Yeah, he, you know that he does. He plays real. He plays really hard. I mean, he may play harder, you know, than his brother. Who? Knows, but you know, both of them <laughs> play extremely hard. Yeah. You know, Barrett's just a sophomore. Uh, you know, we had him on the JV to try to get a lot of minutes. You know, work on ball handling and shooting and. And, you know, those are areas he, he still needs to com improve on. But you're right. He, he did a great job. He came in and, and, and played hard, got some deflections, got some rebounds. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so – and I thought that's what we needed tonight. Uh, you know, I, it, it'll be kind of a roller coaster ride for him. He'll be up and down, you know, kind of, you know, in, in what we need. 
I knew it was going to be a faster game, so uh, you know I thought he would help. Uh, he did a good job tonight. And talking a little bit about Caden, because Caden Hirschman goes down low, and he plays physical. He wasn't afraid to take it. Actually, Reed Spees, too. That's another guy. He made a huge play right over here in the fourth quarter. Somehow yeah. saved the ball. Yeah. Um, well, you know, we made uh, you know we made some really good defensive plays, I thought. Uh, I mean, I mean even, even late in the game, we cut it to uh, 13 and had three opportunities yeah. to cut it to 10 if we hit a three. Um, you know, but we just can't make a basketball play. You know, we make a steal or something, and we can't finish it off with a bucket. So, yeah. um, you know, it's a, it's a little disappointing. You know, this is, uh, you know, you got to win all the home games in district. This kind of puts, at, at 0-2, it kind of puts us, uh, you know, in uh, in urgency mode. I, I just, I just kind of worry about our kids. You know, we just, yeah. you know, there are so many distractions and so many things that, you know, the sense of urgency is no longer there. You know, yeah. it just seems like that. So, yeah. you know, we, we've got to just continue to work. You know, next week's going to be a difficult week. we got to play at Bandera and then mm. Bernie at home. So, yeah. uh, and then come back with uh, Wimberley. So, Three really, really tough. Well, they're all going to be tough. Yeah. They're, you know, they're, they're, you know, it's just the way it is. We're in a tough district, and, and you know, we've got to come. We have to have our A game um, every night, and uh, right now we're, we're not close to that right now. That's on me. So, Anything else you'd like to add? No, no. I appreciate you guys, uh, yeah. you know, doing the game and, and supporting, uh, supporting basketball and, and all the sports here. All right. Well, Thanks, thank Gary. you, Coach. All right. Thank you going to wrap it up wrap it up for us here at the Fredericksburg High School Performance Gym and uh, Fredericksburg Falls tonight 53-39 at the hands of San, of San Antonio Davenport Comal Independent School District so uh, that's it for Billy's live tonight and I hope everybody has a terrific weekend